Let's explore Voyager 1's current position and how you can track it from Earth. Voyager 1 is in the constellation Ophiuchus, 15.53 billion miles away, moving faster than any bullet yet frozen against the stars. This distance is about 167.86 astronomical units from Earth. Light takes over 23 hours to travel this distance. Voyager 1's journey began in 1977, and it has since provided invaluable data about our solar system. The mission was originally intended to continue for just five years, yet the spacecraft has defied expectations, operating for more than four decades. Every day Voyager 1 travels nearly 10.5 miles per second, an astounding speed for a probe that is over 40 years old. Voyager 1's plutonium power source is decaying at a rate of 0.8% a year. On February 25, 2025, NASA turned off the Cosmic Ray Subsystem, CRS, to conserve power. The spacecraft's low-energy charged particle, LECP, instrument is expected to remain operational through the remainder of 2025, then will be turned off sometime in 2026. Once LECP is powered down, only two instruments will still be active on Voyager 1, the magnetometer, MAG, and the plasma wave subsystem, PWS. Engineers anticipate that at least one of these, MAG or PWS, could continue operating into the 2030s, provided no unforeseen failures occur. In November 2026, Voyager will travel one light day from the Sun, roughly 16 billion miles. After that, pure glide mode. In 302,000 years, it'll drift within 1.6 light years of the star TYC 31355821. The golden record, our mixtape of Bach, Sumerian hello, and literal waves, sits safe in vacuum. Basically, the slowest, longest cold email ever sent. Maybe nobody ever opens it. Maybe someone does. Either way, it's the universe's longest we were here. As Voyager 1 travels deeper into interstellar space, it will continue to send back information that helps scientists understand the nature of cosmic radiation and the interstellar medium.